Hey, what's up guys? True Blue Collectibles here. Gonna show you how I make my flight stands just so you guys can see. This is a 100 foot roll of 14 gauge, 75 pound wire that I picked up from Home Depot. I'll link everything in the description below um, as far as the wire goes so you can see. I think the 100 foot roll cost about $8, a little less than $8. Uh, might be a little bit higher depending on the tax where you're at. But what I did is measured out on my table here, 14 inches, 16, 18, and 20 inches. What that's gonna get me is I can make uh, four inch stands, uh, six inch stands, eight inch stands, and 20 inch stands, or 10 inch stands. So the 20 inches is gonna make you a 10 inch stand like this. You're gonna have an eight inch stand like that, a six inch stand like that, and I don't have any of the uh, four inch stands left. But as you can see, it's just shorter or longer. And depending how much you need, um, just cut that additional off. Um, with a standard size like aerosol can, so this is just canned air, a can like this, something that has a lip on it is gonna make this a lot easier for you. That's how you're gonna create the base here. And I'll show you how we do that. But let's get these out of the way here. And we're just gonna go through the process of making one of these real quick. So some people leave this in the box. I just pull it out. It's, it's pretty stiff, so it isn't gonna go anywhere. Let's go ahead and just make um one of the six inch stands so we're just gonna un unravel that a little bit try to straighten it out as best you can line it up with our edge that's our mark there that's where i'm going to cut it it doesn't need to be precise because what you're going to do is you're going to have to bend this at the end once it's all done depending on how you want to pose your figures so like if you're if you saw my ninja post where uh gwen spider gwen is um kicking the ninja from a vertical position the, the ninja's laying flat i'll probably superimpose an image for you um that stand actually has like a a saddle in it with a brace for his arm to keep him on that saddle and he's just kind of balanced in there so what i do is i basically start to straight this out to get it started though i want to take the end and i just give it a little bit of a curl just to make it easier on my finger when i start wrapping it around the can I just kind of start the curl a little bit, just like that. And then I'll take my can and I hold it down. And it doesn't have to be exact. It's gonna spring back on you a little bit, but that's okay. But use that, use that lip of that can and that's gonna help you wrap that around like that. And you see how we're creating that nice circle there. And once we get back to where it's connecting, I actually go a little bit farther to make sure that that full circumference creates that nice circle like that. You see that? That's really nice, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, probably just, you know, if I take my needle nose pliers and I go like that, I'm just inside that and I just wanna bend that in. And I wanna bring that kind of towards the middle to where it's almost splitting it like that. And I just kind of adjust it a little bit and I make sure I'm on the right side before I bend up. I come in about an inch and an inch and a half, try to get it near the center. And all I'm doing is bending that up like that. So now I've created my flight stand. So basically I check it, see where I need to kind of balance it out. We got a little bit of a bend here. So we bend that. And then now we have our flight stand. You can see we're curved here, but none of that is relevant, right? Cause we can just bend that, straighten it out. Now, if I was going to do like a flight, um, like a superhero pose, I'll just use Black Panther here. If I'm gonna do like a, uh, that one doesn't really bend that well. Um, let's just use this one here. So if I'm doing like a superhero pose and she's gonna be kind of just up in the air flying or whatever, I can do something like this. I can come in here, put it in her keister area like that, balance her up there and she's gonna stay nice. So now she's kind of in flight, right? Flight stand. If you have a figure that has the ab crunch, if you can get it in here, sometimes this little gap, you're not able to get anything in there. Like I wouldn't be able to get this in here, but she has this hole on the back, right? Where her hair's at. So what I could do is I could take this and now I can just kind of bend that a little bit. And now if I just wanted her slightly off the ground, I could pose her like that. And now her hair is kind of holding the post in place and she's still slightly off the ground. Now obviously this doesn't look the best, so you could create like you know, some cloth or something over top of it to kind of hide that. Uh, I'll show you real quick how I created the cradle though. So to create the cradle, all I did was go, how far off the ground do I want that character? I'm gonna bend this over to where it's almost coming back down like that. So you can see that. Then all I'm doing is creating a cradle here with a slight curve on it. 
that'll kind of wrap around the body, right? And then this part we're gonna adjust afterwards. So if I wanted her kind of falling, I can create the cradle. I can have her kind of set up to where she's like, got this in between her legs a little bit like that. I could have this behind her with this part bent to where it's going in the hole. And she could be like that. Uh, a heavier figure, like a wider figure, like a male figure. That's gonna sit in that cradle a little better. Uh, I think my ninja has a similar pose like this. All I do is bend this up to where it's kind of on the inside of the arm and you can't really see it. And then the figure sits in there nicely. Um, but yeah, it just depends on the figure and how you want to pose them. But that's how I create mine. Um, and the nice thing is, if you mess up and you don't like the way it's bent, you just come back. You bend it back and now you got your straight stand again. So there you go, guys. That's how I make my flight stands. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I'll link the description or I'll link the link for the uh, wire in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Thanks, guys.